what are the top use cases that we see yeah. right now? Um, a lot of the use cases, a lot of the businesses that are using us are using us to generate uh, marketing content. We have agencies that are using us very, very heavily. Um, we have people from the tech industry. A lot of the use cases are uh, product management, project management. Um, we have um, a lot of work is getting done on um, strategizing as well. So um, there are different ways that people use um, LLMs like ChatGPT and um, team in, inside of TeamGPT as well. There are different ways that you can use it. You can use it to solve quick tasks, right? You can uh, do like one to uh, prompt response uh, combinations to get a quick task done. That's not strategy, but you can also do it to research and learn to get ide ideas to ideate. That's another way. And another big one is creating whole pieces of uh, content or documents or, or whatever you want to say. Legal documents. Legal documents. Yeah. One of our uh, very big use cases that we didn't expect in the beginning, right, was um, law companies, firms and businesses. They're using us quite heavily. There's a lot of... Um, the LLMs are trained on a, a lot of uh, data like that, so they're very, very, very helpful uh, yeah, when well, it comes to creating legal documents. Well, one one customer told me, uh, a, a senior lawyer, he said, listen, it's easier for me to edit ChatGPT's content rather than edit the junior lawyer's content. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. <laughs> And that's edit a, uh, that's that's the new uh, product that we're also releasing, editing with AI as well. That yeah. is just closing part of that cycle. Uh, so uh, I remember how we decided what to prioritize. Like we made the crunch the numbers, we put it on the whiteboard, yeah. And then we were like, what is the common thing between the marketing people, content creators, social media posts, blog articles, legal documents, uh, educate educators, educators, very big. Yeah, that's case. a really big one. Yeah, IT, ITs, they're in top three as well, like uh, creating code. Documentation all. also, like uh, code documentation is a big one as well. Release and, notes, other stuff. And what's the common thing we, we realized? <laughs> well, they're creating large chunk of chunks of text that they're then taking and taking out of the platform. Mm. So they're stopping, they, they stop using Team GPT yep. and they go into Word or Google Docs or something mm -hmm. to, to continue this um, workflow. Exactly. And we wanted and we wanted to capture the value. Yeah, exactly. And, and uh, to kind of close the cycle until you get your finished document. So you are able to finish a document, a page, uh, whatever you're creating a content inside of Team GPT. Later, you can collaborate on the same finished document with other people. You could share it with them. So you don't necessarily have to leave the flow that you're in. Right. So you can complete a workflow inside of the same platform, so to speak.